and I was using Discover Cars to help her find the lowest prices. It's a great travel aggregator for rental cars. I've always found it very helpful, but there are some things that I think are very important to disclose to your audience, and I'm gonna show you that right now. Welcome to the Online Advantage Podcast, where I show you how to use digital marketing to dominate your industry. I'm your host, Laura Peters Avalos. I'm a practicing mindset coach, full-time travel blogger, and high-level marketing consultant. I find myself discussing business strategy and mindset more often than not, but when I'm not working on developing my business, you can find me exploring Colorado's amazing hiking trails or at our family cabin in northern Minnesota. I'll be showing up in your podcast feed every week with new tricks and strategies that you can implement to leverage your business to new heights. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a very common affiliate program for travel bloggers called Discover Cars. I know that this is an affiliate program that many travel bloggers use, and so I'm going to show you a very important detail that I think is gonna set you apart from the competition when recommending rental cars to your audience. For those who don't know me, my name is Laura Peters Avalos. I am the owner and author of Mike and Laura Travel, uh, which is our travel blog, and I'm also the CEO of Scale Your Travel Blog, which is currently the number one uh, coaching program for those who are looking to start, grow, and monetize their travel blog so you can do it full time. So I'm going to hop right into it. This is something that I discovered more recently. I thought it was very interesting. Um, I was actually helping my sister book a honeymoon to Kauai. And while we were booking her honeymoon, she actually was asking me about rental cars. And I remember when we were there, the rental car prices were out of this world. It was astronomical. And um, thinking back, I, I think it was one of the most expensive parts of our trip. So I was trying to help her and I was using Discover Cars to help her find the lowest prices. It's a great travel aggregator for rental cars. I've always found it very helpful, but there are some things that I think are very important to disclose to your audience, and I'm gonna show you that right now. So as I was using Discover Cars to show my sister, I'm gonna use this as an example. Let's say that she's gonna fly into Lahui Airport. So I'll search that, and the results that came up looked great, right? It looked really, um, you know, pretty good for a three-day trip, um, 225 bucks. Seems like a little less than $300, um, I'm sorry, $100 a day, which is great. But here I'm seeing that Discover Cars is telling me that dollar car rental in Lahui, um, Kauai is a really great car rental company. So here I'm reading these descriptions, overall value for the money of your rental car, um, great, it looks like time spent picking up the car, another great rating. But then I decided before I had my sister pull the trigger and spend money on this, I had her just look it up without Discover Cars because I was gonna show her how you can save money, but something really caught my attention. So here I'm gonna type in uh, dollar car rental Lahui. <laughs> and as you can see on Discover Cars, it's telling us they have excellent rating, quite literally using the word excellent, with 121 ratings. But then we go on to Google and there are even more ratings and they do not match up. The ratings here are 1.7 and if I click into it, especially if I do the newest, I'm gonna find all types of very, 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 very bad reviews. In fact, <laughs> in the past two weeks, they've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 ratings and even more past that, and only one of them was kind of positive with a four out of five star review. So this to me, uh, I don't like it because I think that this seems off. I also tested it for a few others that they said were great um, recommendations. I think the other one was like thrifty car rental. It just showed me it and now it's not showing me. But it also told me that they had an excellent um, review. And if I go into Google and search it, 
This one also has 831 pretty negative reviews. For anybody who isn't familiar uh, with the rating system on Google, I personally would never rent or even do business with a company that has less than four stars. I think that that's very telling that they aren't really working on their customer service skills. Um, and again, most people have pretty poor things to say about this company. So I don't like that Discover Cars is kind of lying to people. Um, do I still think that you can get the lowest price with Discover Cars? Yes. However, I think that it's very important for you to put a disclaimer on your website that shows people the, the discrepancy between Discover Cars' rating and actual Google ratings. So this is what I most recently added to one of my blog posts because it's a blog post that does decently well for us. Um, and again, I do use Discover Cars, but I do the extra step. I do the additional investigation that other travelers might not do. And I don't think other people even know to do that. So I put this in here. When booking with Discover Cars, each listed car rental shows ratings that will help you choose a vehicle. Unfortunately, Discover Cars' ratings are off big time. So be sure to double check that each car rental company has high user ratings through Google search. Here's an example. This car rental company shows a 7.9 user rating on Discover Cars. They even market very good. But if you Google thrifty car rental Lahui, you'll see that they have horrible ratings. I wanna be very clear, uh, Discover Cars is still the best car rental aggregator for Denver travelers because you can expect the lowest prices. But, due to, uh, but do your due diligence and check that the car rental company you are choosing has good ratings on Google too. And then I give them our link, which should be an affiliate link and it doesn't look like it is. So either way, um, I, I this is how I'm gonna be setting up my recommendations in the future or I might change from Discover Cars completely. Travel Payouts actually has uh, many travel uh, car rental aggregators on there. I'm looking for one that number one is honest, number two has the lowest prices for our audience, and number three has the best payout for us as well. And when we get that trifecta, then we're gonna be using that company for forever. So I encourage you to do the same thing. Do your due diligence um, with Discover Cars and maybe put a disclaimer in there for your for your users because there is a lot of discrepancy there. And I did this with several destinations and started to find the same thing. I think maybe in the past when we've used Discover Cars, we got lucky and picked the again, picked the car rental companies that also had good ratings on Google but I don't think a lot of people know to do that. So just a uh, public service announcement, something to help you with your travel blog, affiliate, uh, uh, I keep wanting to say emails, but your affiliate posts. Um, and so I hope this was helpful.